India's satellite killer test has created debris that endangers International Space Station. That's according to the chief of NASA. No doubt India's test created about 270 to 300 pieces of debris, but that is only a tiny proportion of the total 20,000 or more debris pieces that float in space. NDTV science editor Pallav Bagla gives you a perspective. Did this missile launched as part of Mission Shakti create debris that endangers the International Space Station? The head of NASA asserts it was a terrible test. We know that we have identified 400 pieces of orbital debris from that one event. About, about 60 pieces have been tracked. In other words, they've got a tracking number and, and we're able to keep, keep up with where they are. Of those 60, we know that 24 of them are going above the apogee of the International Space Station. That is a terrible, terrible thing to create an event that sends debris in an apogee that goes above the International Space Station. But what does the big picture suggest? Today in the space, there are more, a few million debris which are floating around. Every satellite launch which you do, it leaves at least Anything between 100 to 150 fragments. They could be small bowls, they could be heat shields, they could be anything. And these fragments have a, they keep floating around. Because as soon as you get out of atmosphere, nothing comes back. So Why? did we violate any laws, international treaty? No, we did not violate. Since Putnik was first launched in 1957, more than 8,000 satellites have been launched. Of these, 2,000 are functional in orbit. So, the rough ownership is a sign of who creates more space junk. The United States of America owns 800 satellites. China, 280. Russia, 150. India, 48. There is no doubt that Mission Shakti or the anti-satellite weapon test would have generated debris. But Indian experts and American military experts both agree that in the next two weeks, most of the debris would burn out and decay. In New Delhi, Palav Bagla for NDTV.